welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're just stumbling across today's video my name is Emma so as you can tell by the title of the video I'm gonna be doing this hairstyle tutorial I honestly call it kind of like a model off-duty chic sleek bun I don't know what I'm gonna call this video honestly but that's kind of how I describe this hairstyle I've just been obsessing over this hairstyle lately I feel like I've been wearing it so much on my Instagram that's why I'm doing this hairstyle tutorial because so many of you guys ask me how I do it and how I achieve this like very sleek model off duty look so, so I'm going to do my best to give you guys a little tutorial on how I achieve this look it's super super simple and I'm gonna show you guys all of the things you need as well but yeah I feel like this is gonna be my go-to hairstyle for spring and summer so I definitely want you guys to try it out as well so yeah without further ado let's get right into the video okay so before we get into the hairstyle I wanted to show you guys the tools and the products that you're gonna need to do this hairstyle and to be successful so the first tool you're gonna need is either a brush or a comb I tend to use kind of both or either or it doesn't really matter as long as you have something to brush your hair and something to make the part in your hair that you want so I use my wet brush I'm obsessed with this brush if you guys have never heard of wet brush by the way this is not sponsored but if you've never heard of wet brush it is like genius I don't know what about it makes it so good but ever since I purchased this brush I've never like broken my hair or anything because it's just so soft on the hair so yeah wet brush is just like a really good brush to have but obviously you can use any brush you have and the next Tool is obviously optional or you can use both but I use this comb by the brand Gizu um, it's such a cute comb and it honestly works super well so I like to use both or either or like I said some other things you're gonna need to do this hairstyle are some hair elastics I usually take the fine hair hair elastics that are a little bit thinner um, but do two of them to double it up or you can just use a thicker one depending how thick or thin your hair is um, just use the elastics accordingly and then obviously you're gonna need a claw clip which is pretty much just like this kind of like a butterfly clip or a claw clip whatever you call it um, and you can use any color any style whatever obviously it needs to hold your hair so depending how again like I said thin or thick your hair is you're gonna need to match it up with the clip to be able to kind of go around the entire thing so depending on your hair type obviously it'll vary and then the last thing you're gonna need is some hairspray and I'm using today the Redken super strength hairspray however you can use literally any hairspray you want um, any brand works any hairspray works you just need hairspray okay so my hair currently is on its second or third day so um, what I really like about this hairstyle is that you can do it when you have like your greasy days you don't want to wash your hair um, it is such a good hairstyle since you're sleeking it back anyways and I also find that this hairstyle actually is better when your hair is greasy just because it sticks better and honestly the hairstyle is just all around more successful when your hair is a little bit tacky and a little bit greasy but you can obviously do it when your hair is um, dry as well and clean as well because you're gonna use the hairspray anyways but but anyways my hair is super greasy so it's good to go okay so the first thing you're gonna do is take your comb or your brush and part your hair down the middle you don't necessarily have to do this step but if you want like a super even middle part then it's just good to do this but honestly my hair is pretty even anyways for the most part so I don't always have to do this but sometimes um, I do it just to double check and obviously you can totally decide if you want to do um, your part on your left or right or middle I find for this hairstyle it's the most chic and it's kind of like the look that I'm going for with this hairstyle anyways um, when I do it in the middle so I recommend doing it in the middle but it's obviously up to you okay so the next step is to put your hair in a ponytail and this pretty much is the most crucial step because you want your ponytail to sit perfectly on your head where you want it to be and for this hairstyle you want your ponytail to be not too low not too high but you want it to be like just centered on your head so you really want to make sure that your ponytail works before you go ahead and do like the bun part so I'm gonna show you guys where I put my ponytail so first thing I'm gonna do is obviously brush back the hair and like I said my hair is pretty greasy today so it's already pretty sticky and tacky um, which is good because you guys know I have bangs and when my hair is super clean my bangs just kind of like fall forward um, but when it already is a little bit greasy it makes it easier to slick it back so the key to this ponytail is you want to actually brush sideways you don't want to brush backwards because you still want to have your hairline coming right down and you want it to stay that way and not get covered yeah the trick to this ponytail is definitely to brush outwards and not back because because then you're just gonna have like a normal high pony you want this to be that like middle part sleek 
mid high pony if you know what i mean so yeah as you can see i brushed sideways on both ends and then you can obviously pull it back in the back but you want to make sure that your hairline is showing here and it's not covered by any hair okay and then once i have like a rough estimate on how it's looking and i feel like this is pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and secure the ponytail so like I said, with this ponytail, you don't want it to be too low and you don't want it to be too high. You kind of want it to be perfectly aligned with your eyes going upwards. So what I do is I kind of go like this and then find that end right here. I don't know if you can see that well, but pretty much you just want to have like an upwards diagonal from your eyes to make it look like you have that really like tight, sleek, model off duty look. You know what I mean? So once I have that line kind of set up there on the ponytail, I'm going to go ahead and secure it. And you're actually going to be securing the ponytail twice this time. So this is pretty much like my rough secure. And I'm going to go ahead and start hairspraying it a little bit down. And then I'm going to go in again, brush it through, and then tighten it one more time with the ponytail. So this is just kind of like a rough estimate. And I'm going to start hairspraying a little bit. So obviously, I have a ton of like baby hairs here on the side. And that is just not the vibe. You want this to be super sleek and clean. Um, so what I do first is I get rid of my baby hairs like around my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hairspray the tops of my fingers and I'm going to just go ahead and lay the baby hairs flat. And then I'm just going to do it again on the next side. So as you can see that already made such a difference because you just put your baby hairs back and you haven't even secured like your entire head. So definitely do the baby hairs first because I feel like that's the most important part because you don't want any like flyaways. You want it to keep like super sleek throughout the day. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly go over my entire head. Cause like I said, I'm not actually securing the ponytail yet. So once I lightly did that, I'm gonna actually take out my ponytail. And then I'm gonna go in with my brush again and I'm gonna go over it with the hairspray in it. So as you can see, it's getting even more tight and even more slick on each side because now the hairspray is in it and you're brushing it through with the hairspray. Okay, and now I feel like it's way more secure than it was before and I'm gonna go ahead and re-tie my ponytail. So again, you're gonna wanna light it up with your eyes and make sure it's in the same spot that it was before and then you're gonna secure it. So obviously we haven't even sprayed the back of your hair and I feel like a lot of people have baby hairs back here. I know I do. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did with my front baby hairs and I'm going to do it with my neck. Okay, so now you can see my hair is super sleek and I still have a few baby hairs flying away. So honestly, it's just kind of like depends on how many baby hairs and how many flyaways you have. But the more hairspray, the better because it'll last a lot longer. So I'm just going to go in again and secure more hair. But it really depends if you need to do it or not because it just depends on your hair. Okay, so once I feel like the base of my hair is fully secured, I'm going to go ahead and do the final touch, which is the bun tied in with the claw clip. So with the final part of the hairstyle, there's definitely a trick to it. I don't know if this is a known trick or just what I do, but this is what I personally do to achieve this hairstyle. So I wanted to show you guys exactly what I do. It obviously depends, like I said, on the thickness and the length of your hair. But if you have similar hair to mine or if you have slightly different, you can obviously just like customize it to make it fit for your own. Um, um, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I get that little flip and then the little pieces of hair sticking up the top. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is twirl the ponytail. So I'm pretty much just going to roll it in my fingers like that until it looks like this. And then after you've twisted it, the next step what you're gonna do is you're going to flip it like this just to have enough room at the top here for the ends of your hair. So you're gonna kind of make kind of like a Twinkie or a sausage shape kind of like that. I feel like that's really sabotage to describe it like that, but I feel like that's the only way you can describe it is like a little sausage here. <laughs> I hate that that's my reference. But pretty much you're just going to make this shape at the back. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to secure the clip directly on top of it. And then like that. 
So as you can see, the clip is big enough to go around my entire hair. So you want to get a clip that's big enough for that because you want the clip to completely surround the entire piece of hair. So yeah, that is the hairstyle. It's so easy, you guys. It literally takes me like five to 10 minutes in the morning. And honestly, it takes even less because you don't have to wash your hair or anything. So I really like this look. It's such a model off duty, very chic. I feel like it kind of elevates any outfit. I've literally styled this with like a sweatpants suit and I feel like I made it look chic just because I had this hairstyle with it. I'll insert a photo here. And yeah, I know I will be rocking this hairstyle throughout the entire spring and summer. So I can't wait to see you guys in it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.